a run scored. The tension here is unbelievable. Steinbach waiting. Boudreaux with a 1-1. Javier being held at first. The pitch to the plate. Swing and a miss. It's one and two. Tiny had a great cut. Nelson will follow Ben Dorsett. We are in the ninth we'll inning. This is the championship game of the Southern League. The Stars lead five to three. One and two count on Steiny. Javier at first base. Two runs are in. Rocky homered and then Gwynn doubled and then Stan singled him home. Boudreaux sets from the belt. Here's the one, two. Steiny swing and a miss. They got him. Out number two, and here's Rob Nelson. Now heading for the Huntsville Stars, the first baseman number 41, Rob Nelson. Nelson looks down at Brad Fisher. Brad says, hit one out, Robbie. Well, that's not what he said, but I think that would suit everybody just fine. But we still have to get them out in the bottom half of the ninth inning, and that, well, you <laughs> After last night, nothing is over till it's over. I hate to sound yogish and so cliche-ridden, but that's the situation. They got one more at-bat, folks, and you know what this club can do. These Charlotte O's aren't going to go back to their dugout and sit down on their hands. Nelson swings and misses at a great slider from Boudreaux. It's 0-1. Rob on the night singled in a run in the first inning, walked in the third, then struck out in the sixth, and then walked in the eighth. So officially, he's one for two with an RBI. Boudreaux gets his sign from Carl Nichols. Javier off the bag at first. Boudreaux to the plate. Nelson takes it for a strike on the outside corner, 0-2. Five to three stars in the top of the ninth inning. We are three outs away from a Southern League championship. 0-2 the count on Nelson. Boudreaux looks at Javier. Time called by Nelson. Javier jittering around over there, trying to get Boudreaux a little rattled. But you know, he's already rattled. Boudreaux gave up the base hit that gave us the insurance run. Nelson digs back in there. Nichols wants it outside over the edge of the plate. That's where it was, and they stuck him out. So Boudreaux strikes out Steinbach and Nelson. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning. The Stars five, the O's three on the Stars Radio Network. Minute Man, Minute Man. A name that's cropping up all over Huntsville. Whenever you see a self-service Amico sign, you'll soon see Minute Man Food Store. Minute Man. The same dependable Amico gasoline and products America has used for generations, plus a complete line of foods, beverages, and things you always need at the last minute. Amico gasoline and petroleum products at competitive prices, and all the things you need at home. Look for the Amico self-service sign. You'll soon be seeing Minute Man. Minute Man. A girl will be. It's the start of the day, it's the key of the road, it's breaking away. A kiss, a glance, it is hot, it is cool. A smile, a chance, it's breaking the rule. It's just how you feel when you know it's for real. Yeah, it's a kick, it's a hit, it's a call. The Sports Page Lounge and Deli, across from the Hazelin Square Shopping Center, continues to grow as one of Huntsville's premier gathering spots. How about trying lunch at the Sports Page, where their daily plate lunch specials have established a reputation as among the best luncheon specials in the city. Your choice of an entree and three vegetables for only $3.50. And you might be surprised at just how much you like it. And there's the Sports Page's now famous Wednesday night steak night, a 12-ounce ribeye with all the trimmings for only $6. And it's at the Sports Page Lounge and Deli, South Parkway, across from Hazelin Square. We are in the bottom of the ninth inning at Crockett Park in Charlotte. In this place, they're on their feet for their Charlotte O's. These fans have just gone bonkers, and they're trailing five to three. So it's up to Pete Kendrick to get them out. You can hear the chant, let's go O's, here at Crockett Park. They are absolutely going crazy here. I've never seen anything like it. Stars have to get three outs to win the championship. 
Jones, Kanega, and Nichols will start it off for Charlotte. Now hitting for the Charlotte. Here's Jones. The first baseman, number eight, Melvin Hawk. Jones digs in there. Kendrick rocks back. The first pitch at the bottom of the ninth. Strike call from Pete Kendrick. Five to three stars. Bottom of the ninth of the championship game of the Southern League for 85. Bouncer to Marquardt. No, that's Soma. That's Ray Soma. He just threw him out. One away. That's Soma playing second base. One out in the bottom of the ninth. And by the way, when this game is over, and if we win it, I'll be the only one going crazy. Everybody else will be turning around and staring at me. But I promise you one thing, I won't give a damn. They're up and screaming in Charlotte. Now we're going to get a pinch hitter. It'll be Rick Lockwood for Canega. Makes Kendrick wait a little longer. Lockwood will come in to pinch hit here in the ninth. He is swinging his bat. Dorset goes out to talk to Kendrick. Foma in to talk to Kendrick. And here comes Lockwood. Now here for the show of the Number 15, Rick Lockwood. So here's Lockwood. Stars five, Charlotte three in the bottom of the ninth with one out. We're two outs away. Nichols is standing on deck and then Jacobson. Lockwood to hit. Kendrick is ready. And the pitch. Inside, ball one. One run will not do it. They got to have two. Stars got two in the first. Charlotte came back and roared home with three in the fifth. We tied it in the eighth, and then Rocky and Brian Gwynn and Javier got two in the ninth. Swing and a miss, one and one. The Stars are one, two outs away now from the league championship. Outfield is over a little bit for Lockwood. He's got good power to left. Louie is well back. Kendrick ready, the 1-1. One, one. Popped him up, it'll be out of play. Nelson came over to look. Kendrick's ahead in the count, one and two. Five to three stars. Top of the ninth inning. Bottom of the ninth inning. I don't know where we are. Bottom of the ninth. The fifth game of the league championship series. Kendrick looks in, Dorsett gives him the sign. He says, yeah. One, two pitch on the way to Lockwood. He struck him out! He struck him out! Two out! Travis rang him up. Lockwood looked at a strike three on the slider. Here's Nichols. We're one out away. But catcher number seven, Carl Nichols. to three with one out to go. Kendrick into the line. The pitch. High for a ball. 1-0. Kendrick ready. Here's the 1-0. Popped up out of play. Foul ball. 1-1. One one. Two out in the bottom of the ninth. Pete Kendrick trying to mow him down one more time. Kendrick, who went nine innings in one game one, is on the verge of doing it in game five. Nichols is the batter. Two out in the bottom of the ninth. Their fans are asking them to stand up. Kendrick lines. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Right field. Bobby Gould. Bobby Gould. Stars win. Stars win. Stars win! The league championship belongs to Huntsville! 
They're mobbing Kendrick on the infield. The Stars have won it five to three. The fans are turning and looking at me and staring at me like I'm crazy. The Stars have won the Southern League Championship. Oh, my stars. Bobby Gould caught it. We won it. Five to three, the final. Oh. Bobby Gould made it. He caught it. What a rally. I don't believe it. I didn't believe it last night, and I don't believe it tonight. These two teams have played as good a baseball as you can ask for. And the Stars have won it. Go to Delivery Stable. You know what the deal is. Art, I got to take a break. I'll be back in a few minutes. Take a break. Tony Giovanni, thank you, partner. I just got some congratulations from Tony. The plays, the O's play, but oh man, what a game. Five to three, the Stars win. No, I'll do it like I'm supposed to. We'll take the, the delivery stable break. We'll be back in a moment on the Stars Radio Network. I hope there's a celebration going on at Delivery Stable Pizza because my golly, there sure deserves to be one. The Stars with a run in the eighth to tie it and Rocky Coyle with a, oh, look at Rocky. Brian Dorsett just picks him up and bear hugs him. It's all over in Charlotte, and the Stars have won it 5-3. It's all over. Delivery Stable Pizza is going to give you 10% off, I think, maybe more. I don't know. But anyway, that's a great place to celebrate. Man, do we need some celebrate. These last two days have been brutal on us. Huntsville 5, Charlotte 3. Five runs every night. 5% off every night and 5 runs a night at 10% off. Enjoy it, folks. You know where it is. Delivery Stable Pizza. They've been great to us all year. Why don't you be great to them tonight? It's our final game of the year. We won it. And that's the only one that matters. Delivery Stable Pizza, Hamilton Square Shopping Center. Look, up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a spaceship. No, it's Minuteman. Minuteman is here. All over Huntsville, whenever you see the self-service Amico sign, you'll soon see Minuteman. Trust in Amico gasoline at reasonable prices, plus cigarettes, beer, delicious foods, grocery items, and snack foods, all at Minuteman prices. Say, Mr. Minuteman, why are you here? To bring trusted Amico gasoline and convenient shopping to all my friends. Look for the new Minuteman food stores. They're everywhere. Everywhere. A sound, it's the start of the day It's the beat of the road It's breaking away A kiss, a glance It is hot, it is cool A smile, a chance It's breaking away It's just how you feel When you know it's for real It's a hit, it's a kick It's a coke the Sports Page Lounge in Delhi, across from the Hazel Square Shopping Center, continues to grow as one of Huntsville's premier gathering spots. How about trying lunch at the Sports Page, where their daily plate lunch specials have established a reputation as among the best luncheon specials in the city. Your choice of an entree and three vegetables for only $3.50. And you might be surprised at just how much you like it. And there's the Sports Page's now famous Wednesday night steak night, a 12-ounce ribeye with all the trimmings for only $6. And it's at the Sports Page Lounge in Delhi, South Parkway, across from Hazelin Square. Well, back at Crockett Park in Charlotte, I've calmed down a little bit, but the excitement here, and you can see our guys, they just went berserk on the field. And boy, do they deserve it. The Stars have won the Southern League Championship in their first season ever in the Southern League, 5-3. to three. The clubhouse scene, I don't know what it's like down there right now, but I want to stay dry at least for a little while longer, so I'm not going in there. But the Stars with a run in the eighth to tie and two in the ninth to win it. It's a lot like the game we won last night, or lost last night here. And boy, what do I know about baseball? I predicted we'd lose tonight, right? Now, I'll tell you one thing. The guys that wear those uniforms that say Stars across the front, they never believed they were out of it. Maybe a lot of us did, and yours truly was one of them. And even their coaches, I think, were a little disappointed and dejected. But the guys never believed they were beat. And Rocky Coyle, golly, man, what can you say about Rocky Coyle? 5'8", 175 pounds. The Oakland A's told him at midseason, Rocky, you're not a prospect. You can't play Major League Baseball. Rocky told him, well, I don't know what he told him, but whatever it was, he said, I can still play. 
So they sent him to Madison, and he sat at single A for a month, hit 330-something down there, comes back here, and what does he do? He wins the league championship for us. How can a guy not be a prospect? I'll take him in a heartbeat. The Stars win it 5-3. to three. Winning pitcher is Peter Kim Kendrick from Honolulu, Hawaii. I'll get his address for you. Why don't you send him a postcard? Let him know how you feel about the job he did for us. Pete Kendrick was absolutely fantastic. Man, talk about laid back. He invented the word. The losing pitcher is Jim Boudreaux. No, the losing pitcher is Mark Leiter. He lost it. Tony Arnold pitched well in the championship game. Coyle had three hits and then I had a single double and a home run to win it. Five to three, the Stars have won. I got to take another 90 second break and I'll be back with some scores for you on the Stars Radio Network. Minute Man, Minute Man. A name that's cropping up all over Huntsville. Whenever you see a self service Amico sign, you'll soon see Minute Man Food Store. Minute Man. The same dependable Amico gasoline and products America has used for generations, plus a complete line of foods, beverages, and things you always need at the last minute. Amico gasoline and petroleum products at competitive prices, and all the things you need at home. Look for the Amico self-service sign. You'll soon be seeing Minute Man. Minute Man. A girl, a beach, it is awesome, it's free. It's a lift, it's a wave, it's the way it should be. Sports Page Lounge in Delhi, across from the Hazelin Square Shopping Center, continues to grow as one of Huntsville's premier gathering spots. How about trying lunch at the Sports Page, where their daily plate lunch specials have established a reputation as among the best luncheon specials in the city. Your choice of an entree and three vegetables for only $3.50. And you might be surprised at just how much you like it. And there's the Sports Page's now famous Wednesday night steak night, a 12-ounce ribeye with all the trimmings for only $6. And it's at the Sports Page Lounge in Delhi, South Parkway, across from Hazelin Square. Back at Crockett Park in Charlotte, the champagne party has been brought outside. The stars are standing down in our bullpen. Everybody has a bottle of champagne, and everybody is getting soaking wet. And it's about 50 degrees out here. The champagne party has moved outdoors. It's a picnic in the bullpen for the league champion Huntsville Stars. Some scores, I promised them. Let's do them. National League, Chicago beat or St. Louis. I don't even know if I can do these. St. Louis beat Chicago 9-3. The Cardinals, with a win from Bob Forsh, moved into a tie with the Mets because the Montreal Expos beat the Mets 5-1 in game one of the doubleheader. In game two, Montreal and New York scoreless after two. Cincinnati and Los Angeles have a doubleheader. First game, Hershiser wins it 15-3 now. McGaffigan the loser for Cincinnati. 8-2, the Dodgers beat Cincinnati. Mike Marshall had a couple of homers. Second game's underway. Pena and Soto, the starters, no score after an inning. Bob Walk, no hit the Phillies for six innings, but they got five in the seventh. And it's five to two in the eighth inning there. Atlanta six. No, pardon me, San Francisco six. Atlanta two. That's in the bottom of the sixth inning. That's the National League. They are now, what are they doing down there now? More champagne. There goes another court. There goes some more spray. Mark Bauer just got doused. Gary Lance got doused. John Marquardt is looking for somebody to get. Brian Graham is down there with Joe Law, and they're both soaking wet as the party in the bullpen continues. Stars have won it 5-3 in the league championship. I'll be back 60 seconds from now with some more scores on the Stars Radio Network. Ha, ha, ha. God, that was great. That made it work. <coughs> what did we say out there in the parking lot today? We want to hit one out in the ninth inning and win it. Look at Rocky. Look at Rocky. He was determined to play today. Oh, I know. I know. I thought, I thought Norman's ball had a chance to go out. I didn't know if Rocky's would or not. Oh, 
the street a sun It's the start of the day It's the beat of the road It's breaking away Get a glance It is hot It is cool A smile A chance It's breaking loose It's just how you feel When you know It is real It's a hit It's a coke the Sports Page Lounge in Delhi, across from the Hazel Square Shopping Center, continues to grow as one of Huntsville's premier gathering spots. How about trying lunch at the Sports Page, where their daily plate lunch specials have established a reputation as among the best luncheon specials in the city. Your choice of an entree and three vegetables for only $3.50. And you might be surprised at just how much you like it. And there's the Sports Page's now famous Wednesday night steak night. Detroit 3-2, that's in the sixth inning. Floyd Rayford is homeward for Baltimore. Toronto 2, the Yankees 1, that's in the 5th inning. Phil Necro for New York trying to win his 300th career victory. Texas and California get started. Well, they should be underway in about 20 minutes from now. Charlie Huff against Don Sutton, who was recently traded over from the Oakland A's to the California Angels. Mark Gubazai is the starter for Kansas City tonight against Jose Rio for the A's. And Chicago and Seattle a little bit later on. Filner and Matt Young, the starters in that game. And Milwaukee 5 and Boston 1. If you have somebody who would like to hear something, get them to the radio as soon as you can, because in about 30 seconds from right now, we're going to have Rocky Coyle on the air. So I'm going to give you folks a chance right now to get your people around, because we're about ready to have Rocky Coyle on the air. And we're not even going to take a break. We're just going to bring him up here and put him on the air. Here he comes. You can hear the cleats clanging up. <laughs> Put that on. Put, Put that on. <laughs> Put that on. He's got it on backwards. He's got it on backwards, Rock. There you go. All right, Rock, we're live on the air. Am I live? You're live. <laughs> what, is awesome. what do you want to say, Rock? Awesome. Hey, it's the most incredible thing, man. Uh, yeah, this team, you know, wouldn't believe it. This crowd here, people back home really can't understand. Uh, it's, uh, this crowd was going crazy, man. It was against us. We lost last night in that game. I know a lot of people were probably really worried, but as a team, we were loose and we came together, and that's what makes champions. We, we hung in there, and all of a sudden, boom, there we were. We had the lead. It was in the ninth, and it wasn't the third inning when we got our runs. When you hit it out, did you know it was going to go out when you hit it? Why would I hit it? I knew it. This guy throws hard. The ball was down. Uh, the inning before, uh, when I struck out, the pitch was down. I was just looking for something to drive. And I, used, I hit it right on the nose. I knew it was gone. And when I saw him under it, I go, no way you didn't take that one away from me. And I just, uh, praise God, man, it was awesome. Rock, you talk about this team being champions. Let me just say something, my friend. You are a champion. You are whatever. You are a champion with a capital C. And if anybody ever in their lives tells you you can't play this game again, Jerk them around and pop one in their nose. I'll hit hey, another man. one. I'll hit another one over the center field wall. Give that over <laughs> to this man right here. We want to talk to him for just I a just, second. Hi Debbie. Hi Debbie and Joshua. I love you and I miss you. And we're going to be on our way to Phoenix. God bless you. I love you guys. It's Rocky Coyle, ladies and gentlemen. If there ever was a champion, hit him. He just hugged Pete Kendrick. Pete, put that on, my friend. Turn it around the other way. Turn it around the other way. I don't know which way to put this thing up. All right, let me ask you, what did you think when it went over the fence? I just said, it's ours now. It's ours. Once it went over, we got that lead, it was ours. Pete Kendrick goes nine innings for the second time in the series. Tell us what you were thinking when you went to the mound to start the bottom of the ninth. Well, since we were up two runs, I just wanted to go get ahead, throw strikes, at least get the first hitter out. I did that, and I just felt it, and I knew we had it. Pete? When you go out there and you know you got a two-run lead, are there a lot of jitters? And you're the kind of guy, I said it on the air, I said, here's a guy who doesn't get rattled, but this crowd was making so much noise. They were behind their team for all three games. Well, you, you had to be nervous of some sort. Well, I, I guess I was very nervous inside, but I didn't want to let them see it. Right. And, uh, you know, this team, we pulled together in the last inning. The last couple innings came, came from behind. And especially after from last night's game, you know, that was a tough one to take. But we just came back today and fought like champions, and here we are. But this is for Huntsville right here. There were so many people who doubted you'd be able to do it. There were so many who felt the momentum had gone the other way and we'd never get it back. I was one of those. I'll admit that. I said last night on the air, I don't think we can come back and win this thing in game five. How did you do it? What, what happened to everybody inside? 
football, Rick. Let me tell you this. It doesn't matter what you, what you feel. It matters what the guys on there feel. That's right. And, you know, we just said after that game, we want to come back strong. You know, this is a one-game series after last night. And, you know, the guys just wanted to put it in the back of their minds. And I just felt, you know, once we had that lead, it was always the key. How do you feel inside right now? I feel great. I mean, this, is, this is awesome. <laughs> What's your address in Honolulu? We're going to get some postcards mailed to you. <laughs> Pete Kendrick, Stars left-hander. Congratulations, my friend. This is for all of Huntsville right here. That's a great job, Pete. Thank you, I enjoyed playing here this year. Well, you won't be here next year. You're gone. <laughs> we'll, we'll never get a chance to see you. Once Oakland sees this news, your history, they'll have you in Tacoma with a heartbeat next year, maybe in the big leagues. I hope so. Pete, thank you. Thank great you. job, buddy. Pete Kendrick of the Stars. i got to come back 60 more seconds from now and wrap it all up. I'll be back in a moment on the Stars Radio Network. The Sports Page Lounge in Delhi, across from the Hazelwood Square Shopping Center, continues to grow as one of Huntsville's premier gathering spots. How about trying lunch at the Sports Page, where their daily plate lunch specials have established a reputation as among the best luncheon specials in the city. Your choice of an entree and three vegetables for only $3.50. And you might be surprised at just how much you like it. And there's the Sports Page's now famous Wednesday night steak night, a 12-ounce ribeye with all the trimmings for only $6. And it's at the Sports Page Lounge in Delhi, South Parkway, across from Hazelwood Square. Monday night, September 16th on WFIX, beginning at 6.30 until 7.50. You're a chance to call in and talk to some of the Huntsville Stars players and coaches. Rick Davis will host the Huntsville Stars call-in show. Ask questions or just say congratulations. The Huntsville Stars call-in show, Monday night at 6.30 on WFIX. Brought to you by Madison Drags, Highway 72 and Slaughter Road. Cook's Fast Control, Video Hit Show Place in Madison, Auto Electric, and John's Big Brother Foods. Stars call-in show also brought to you by Fast Forward on University Drive. Back at Crockett Park in Charlotte, i got to wrap this thing up. The Stars have won the Southern League Championship in year one of the franchise. It's an awesome feeling. I cannot tell you how good it feels. I know you fans who followed us all year, I know how you feel. But to see these guys in red dancing and, and rolling around in the mud and the champagne and the bullpen, it's, I don't know how to describe it. I wish I had the command of the vocabulary to tell you what it feels like, but it's absolutely the greatest thing that has happened in a long, long time to this ball club. I'll tell you that. And especially after we lost the game last night, to come back and win one tonight by hitting a home run in the ninth inning, it is unbelievable. Thanks to the folks at Huntsville Dodge, some of our travel arrangements have been made through Huntsville Dodge, who helped us out on the trip over to Charlotte for the Southern League Championship Series. Huntsville Dodge at 705 Wheeler Avenue, your Dodge dealer in the city of Huntsville. Great deals on those beautiful customized Dodge Ram vans for the football season. Check that out. The broadcast, as always, is authorized and the rights granted by the Southern League of Professional Baseball Clubs and the Huntsville Stars. Any unauthorized retransmission or redescriptions of the accounts of this game without the consent of the Stars in the Southern League is, of course, prohibited. The announcer for this game is employed by the Huntsville Stars Baseball Club. For our production consultants who meant so much to this, to yours truly all year, Don Mincher, Kent Pilot, and especially Bob Jamison, to our engineer Gary Wright, who did a lot of work for us early in the year and got very little credit for it, to Lee Reynolds, our studio coordinator in Huntsville, who made everything go so smooth, to Greg Shepard, who also worked, to Billy Baldwin, to Carol Eddins and the staff of his fine people in WFMH-FM in Coleman, WFMH-AM in Coleman. Without them, many of you who live in Hartsville and Decatur and Coleman and Gardendale, you'd have never heard Stars Baseball. Why don't, you, why don't you make some sort of a, a plan to thank the folks at WFMH and Coleman because they were as much a voice of the stars as was anything to them and to John Scott and his super staff at WFIX, our flagship station in Huntsville. The year has been phenomenal. I have a lot of people to think. I don't have the time and I don't remember all of the names right now to do it, but I promise you I'll get in touch with you. I want to thank so many people, and especially my wife, Debbie, who put up with six months of baseball. It's been absolutely marvelous. It's been fabulous. I, I, I'm running out of words, so i got to go. Thank you so much for listening all year long. We sure have enjoyed it. We will see you in April of 1986 from Crockett Park in Charlotte. The final once again, Huntsville 5, the Charlotte O's 3. The Stars win the Southern League Championship. So long, everyone. Huntsville Stars Baseball has been brought to you by Coca-Cola and your local Coca-Cola bottler. Coke is it. By the Miller Brewing Company. Miller made the American way. 
by the Sports Page Lounge in Delhi, where sportsmen meet in Huntsville, and by your Huntsville Dr. Pepper bottler. Hold out for the out of the ordinary. Hold out for Dr. Pepper. Stars Baseball is brought to you in part by the Governor's House Motel, the closest motel to Joe Davis Stadium, by Delivery Stable Pizza in the Hamilton Square Shopping Center, and by the Comfort Inn Airport, Highway 20 in Madison. Stars Baseball on WFIX has been brought to you by John's Big Brothers Foods, Allen Transfer and Storage, Boom Markets, Casey's Honda, and Probst Discount Drugs. Join us again next time for more exciting Southern League Baseball with the Huntsville Stars. For more, Stars on Radio.